father. You chose this. What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Now this is a bit of a late upload for myself, but we have a bit of interesting information here. Urson98 actually tweeted me this image you're seeing coming on screen now on Twitter saying classes in BF2. Now he is right, these are the classes in Star Wars Battlefront 2. You've got the Elite Officer, the Heavy Metal, the Armored Assault and the Master Specialist. If you look closely at this image, you do get to see wire-framed images of the weapons that are confirmed for Star Wars Battlefront 2 so far. The Blurg 1120, the FWMB-10, the CR-2, and the A280CFE. I have made a video on these weapons and on the classes in general, which I haven't released yet. That is going to be due out in the next few days. But I wanted to share this image with you guys. It gives a little bit more information about the classes away. Obviously we get the full names of the classes as well as the image which represents that class. We also get the information on the attachments again, the enhanced grip modification for the Blurg, the barrel vent modification for the FWMB-10, the trigger modification for the CR-2, and the scope modification for the A280CFE. We also get confirmation of abilities, which are the Battle Command Epic Ability, the Personal Shield Epic Ability, the Thermal Detonator Epic Ability, and the Laser Trip Mine. Three of those have already been in Star Wars Battlefront in EA's first Star Wars Battlefront. They are the Thermal Detonator, the Personal Shield, and the Laser Trip Mine. The Battle Command is a brand new ability to Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I am excited to see what that ability is going to be all about. We also get to see again the Last Jedi Heroes content for Star Wars Battlefront 2, the exclusive themed looks, the epic ability modifiers for Rey and Kylo Ren, the epic ability modifier for the Millennium Falcon, and a new First Order ship. We don't know what the First Order ship is at the moment, but I am really excited to find out what it's actually going to be when EA are ready to tell us more about it. There is confirmation as well that these weapons in the deluxe edition that you get early in the game for pre-ordering are available in the standard edition for everybody who can unlock them through the ranks of playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. At Muricot04 tweeted Christian Johansson saying the weapons and content of the deluxe edition is exclusive for them or the standard edition can unlock that later playing. Christian Johansson said can be unlocked by playing. So those weapons that you do get early access to in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition are in the game anyway and you will be able to unlock them through your progression in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Standard Edition. I hope that clears up a few queries about whether or not these weapons will be in the game for anyone who purchases the Standard Edition. So if you aren't bothered about unlocking them early on in the game, just go ahead and purchase the Standard Edition. Let me know down in the comments section below what you think about the classes in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Do you like the idea or would you prefer to stick to the Star Card system? I like the idea of classes, I like the idea of personalization in the classes so you can have a playstyle within the playstyle which is the classes. That's a bit confusing but I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Make sure to smash like on this video if you have enjoyed it and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance and be kept up to date with all things Star Wars Battlefront 2 and other Star Wars games. Other than that, may the Force be with you.